Good morning, Bridgeway. It's so good to see everyone this morning in the house here in Columbia, Maryland, in the house in Owens Mills, Ricestown, Maryland. And it's a beautiful opportunity to be a part of a church that worships the Lord with the creative arts. And it's so good to see you this morning. Before we go into the word of God today, we have a special opportunity to license someone to join the clergy here at Bridgeway Community Church. This person has completed not only the ministry training track certification here at Bridgeway, but they have been in ministry for 14 years. They have lived a life where they have struggled through addiction, recovery, and ministry, discipling men to help them do the same thing. And so what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to introduce to some and present to others a man who has four years of biblical studies at the AG Institute and one who's been around this church doing all kinds of amazing ministry. We have someone that I think you will be glad to know will be licensed today as a minister. The difference between a minister and a pastor, the pastor has a spiritual authority and the education to oversee the flock. Ministers as well have spiritual authority and they're licensed by the state to marry and to bury and to serve our congregation. And together, uh, that's what our clergy is. And so without any further ado, please put your hands together for the new minister, Juan Delgado. Come on up here, Pastor Minister Juan. Well, you can already tell by the overwhelming response that your service to the church, your service to the Lord, and your character uh, and your uh, personality, along with everything and everything that God has done in you, you are in the house of the Lord at Bridgeway. And under the authority of the elders' council, the founding and senior pastor, and your brotherhood with the new clergy, we want to welcome you. We want to welcome your family, your wife, Claire, and uh, he's a father of three children. And Claire, are you here? Would you come on up as we lay hands and pray over your husband? Would you come on up as well? Somebody escort her up uh, to the stage, his wife, Claire. And Juan's going to be uh, our minister of student ministries. And so you know that uh, Cody Michener is our director of student ministries. So he'll report to uh, Juan Delgado. Uh, Cody was reporting to Pastor Gary Coiro, who will continue to do other ministry here at Bridgeway. But together, uh, Minister Juan and Cody Michener will work together to serve our young people so that we can raise them up in a way that honors God. And so I'm just so grateful for that. Thank you so much. And Claire, thank you so much for not just uh, standing, of course, by your man, but also uh, what all of you have been through in order to help serve God. So thank you for that. And Cody Michener is in the house as well. Cody, would you just stand up so we can thank you for the continued work that you do? Work that you do in Owens Mills, work that you do here in Columbia, Maryland, and together we're looking forward to seeing how you and Minister Juan can rock it for the next generation. Now I'm gonna ask the elders council to come on up. We're gonna lay hands on this brother and I'm gonna ask you when they're here that you would extend a hand in prayer and then we're gonna pray uh, for Juan and for Claire. And for any of your family members, your uh, friends, or people from Teen Challenge where you were serving for uh, how many, 14 years? Oh, my goodness. So you've discipled a lot of men. Are, are some of them here today? Yes. Teen Challenge, stand up. Where are you? <laughs> S- 
So these are men that have been under the discipleship to help them become strong in the Lord. And so we're praying that for all of our young people, male and female, they will become strong in the Lord. Well, Elder Luis, would you be so kind to say a prayer over your Puerto Rican brother? The rest of us will lay hands. I'm going to anoint you uh, with oil and as a, as a symbol, if you will. And uh, anybody got oil? I thought I had it in my pocket. Anybody got any oil? Anybody, can I guess? Anybody got some oil? All right, come on, Maria, hurry up. I'm sorry about that. I thought I had it in my pocket. I ain't got nothing in there but a mint. So <laughs> I could try to anoint you with the mint, but I don't know if that's going to do it. So, wow. All right, let's get praying. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the power of your spirit, as Luis uh, prays over Juan, Heavenly his family, Father, and this so church, we ask, Lord, that you would indeed use this brother to make a difference, not only with our youth, but in our ministry as a whole. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord, for one for his willingness, your Lord, to take over such a great account. Bless him greatly, dear Lord. Guide him, give him wisdom and discernment as he continues to lead, dear Lord, along with Cody. I thank you, Lord, for both of them, for their hearts yes. to serve you, to serve you totally, dear Lord. Help him, give him strength. And help them guide others to you, dear Lord, because that's all we want, to care about our youth, our future, the future of Bridgeway, dear Lord, it's in his hands. Continue to give him blessings upon him and his family, and Claire and the children, dear Lord. Bless him greatly in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And amen. Put your hands together for Minister Juan. Delgado. Hey, brother, stand up. Is there anything you want to say before we uh, continue on? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, somebody once said, all I have seen teaches me to trust the creator for the things I have not seen. And I'm believing great things. Things are going to happen. Yeah, amen. All right. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you.